Hey guys, welcome back to Election Center, and in this video, we're going to be talking about an alternate 1984 U.S. presidential election. Uh, if Walter Mondale had not made his crucial mistake, and that mistake was at the Democratic National Convention in his speech, he said basically something that indicated he would raise taxes. He said something along the lines of, you know, he was talking about solving the deficit problem, I think, and he was talking about him and Reagan, and he said, you know, we have to solve this deficit problem. We're both going to raise taxes. He won't tell you. I just did. So he's trying to do an appeal to honesty uh, by saying, listen, we're both obviously going to raise taxes. It's just that he won't tell you, and I'm telling you. Uh, but it just came off as a pledge to raise taxes, and it backfired uh, a lot. And so we're basically going to be talking about in this scenario, if he had not said that major, uh, that line that backfired majorly, and also just like that wouldn't be in his platform. Like, you know, I'm not saying necessarily his platform wouldn't change. Sorry, I'm not saying his platform would change. Uh, what I'm basically saying is he would not be emphasizing that part of his platform so much. He would not be, you know, going on, going on the stump talking about how he's going to raise taxes so much. Just like we're talking about, if he hadn't made that line and, you know, any other contexts where he would have, you know, been saying stuff like that, we're just going to assume in this scenario that he does not do that. And I think that in this scenario where, you know, he's not overtly emphasizing that he's going to raise taxes like this, uh, this would open the door to some more states for him. And, you know, I'm on... The Wikipedia page for 1984 here, the 1984 U.S. presidential election. We see a couple of close New England states here that I think, you know, I'm just going to instantly give them to him here. So this would unlock Massachusetts and Rhode Island for him. I think he gets a couple more states on the board. Uh, you know, look at these states. Less than 4% in Rhode Island. Less than 3% in Massachusetts. I think that this could open the door for Mondale to carry these states, not by a super safe margin or anything, but I think he'd get him. Uh, he'd probably carry Minnesota more convincingly. You see, he only won his home state of Minnesota by 0.18%. Uh, so yeah, that's not a convincing margin, but I think it would be more convincing in this scenario. And by the way, in case you don't know what the actual result of 1984 was, uh, you see here, Ronald Reagan won with 525 electoral votes to Mondale's 13, 18.2% in the popular vote. And yeah, Mondale only won, he barely won his home state of Minnesota, and he won the District of Columbia by a very safe margin. But that, you know, that's just expected. It kind of always automatically goes to the Democrats by a really, uh, really solid margin. But yeah. I'm also going to give him Maryland uh, because, uh, yeah, I think he'd be able to overcome that 5.49% margin. You know, not only would this, uh, you know, in the moment help him, but I think just throughout the rest of the campaign, voters would generally be more receptive to Mondale, uh, more willing to give him a chance. I sort of think maybe it could have been that a lot of voters just after he said that, they just shut him off. They just ruled out the possibility of voting for Mondale. But, you know, I think voters could be more receptive to him in this scenario. Uh, you know, he had a strong performance in the first presidential debate of 1984. Perhaps he could have changed more minds uh, in this type of a scenario. Um, you know, maybe there wouldn't be as many Reagan Democrats. Um, so, you know, blue-collar voters in the North... Uh, southern voters here as well. Uh, maybe he wouldn't have as much of a problem of Democratic voters going to Reagan. And, you know, he's from Minnesota. I could see him winning maybe some more Midwestern states here. Maybe he could win Iowa here. Maybe he could win Wisconsin, maybe. Uh... I might give him, you know, Pennsylvania or New York here. And let me check the margin in Illinois. Illinois, it was a solid 12 points for Reagan. I feel like maybe that's a little too much for Mondale to overcome here. But 
uh, yeah, he's already at 48 electoral votes with one, two, three, four, five states and D.C. So already, you know, he's like comparable to Carter's showing in 1980. Um, and I think we could give him another state here, maybe another big state. Let's see what happens. You know, we give him Wisconsin. He's up to 59. I could see in an extreme scenario, if everything goes well for him, he does something like this. This would be... A really good showing for him here but this is probably his tippy tippy top I mean uh, yeah I don't think this is the most realistic over a hundred electoral votes but he could maybe you know shore up some of these Reagan Democrats back onto his side and you know this is not the only thing going against him and of course Reagan has plenty of things going for him it'd still be a big wipeout right Mondale's never really going to get competitive to Reagan uh, unless you really have a crazy alternate scenario where you just change so many elements, uh, you know. But, you know, I could see him getting one more state here. And so I think that's going to be Pennsylvania, maybe. I could see Pennsylvania going to him. And something we could maybe try to do is go back to the 1980 results, see places where Carter came really close, right? And maybe that could give us a clue as to which states are most within Mondale's reach. I mean, there were a lot of really close states in 1980, it looks like. But um, maybe another New England state we could consider. And, you know, maybe he could garner more of that sort of rural support that Carter had. If he hadn't turned off so many of those voters with his, you know, tax rhetoric. So... What's another one of these rural states that I think you could do a bit better? Maybe I can give him West Virginia. Let's check what the margin was. It was quite a mar mar wide margin of 11 points, but Carter, he won this state, and he lost the poppy vote by almost 10 points. He won it by 4 points. I think maybe he could have had a little bit more of Carter's sort of rural support here and won the state of West Virginia. Just he wouldn't be turning off so many voters, but that could be a little unrealistic, but I'm thinking about West Virginia, and I'll look at a couple more of these New England states here that I think Mondale would have stood a chance possibly. Uh, I guess we're gonna wanna look at like Connecticut here. Okay, looks like those are pretty solid margins, but I could maybe just barely give him West Virginia here. I mean, it's tough here in West Virginia, but uh, I could see him maybe just barely getting West Virginia by a tilt margin. But yeah, I would say this is sort of a, an approximation of what I think would happen in an alternate 1984 scenario where he's not going around telling everyone he's going to raise taxes. I think, uh, you know, right off the bat, just not saying that major, that line that backfired so badly. Uh, that could garner him some more votes. And then just voters being more receptive. You know, he could solidify Minnesota, win it by more than 0.8, and then he could have some more narrow victories here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He wins 7 states in D.C. So, a lot more respectable. Sort of like, I guess, an Adlai Stevenson type election. Stevenson versus Eisenhower. So, it's still a wipeout. But it's a little more respectable for Mondale, and it wouldn't be one of the biggest landslides of all time. Uh, he would lose the popular vote by maybe like 11%, 12%, I think. Um, but, you know, I could also be totally wrong. Maybe it was just bound to happen. Maybe uh, people just really didn't care for Mondale. Not charismatic. Reagan, uh, you know, a lot more of a charismatic person. But I could see Mondale picking off some states, getting 79 electoral votes. So 459 electoral votes for Ronald Reagan, 79 electoral votes for Walter Mondale. Uh, but yeah, that's a wrap on this video. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thought it was interesting. And I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts. So leave a comment in the comment section down below. Uh, yeah, just your thoughts on the 1984 US presidential election, how Wa Mondale could have picked up some more states here. Uh, definitely interested in talking to you guys in the comment section about this. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thought it was interesting. 
Uh, if you like this type of content I make here on this channel, definitely subscribe, and I'll see you in the next Election Center video. Bye, guys.